Hey YouTube, Rob, you come to you guys here with a deck profile. I know it's been a little while that I got back onto the Edison grind, but um, okay, I'm bringing you guys here another deck profile. Uh, got a couple more coming. Work's just been hectic. I work at a case tournament tonight too as a vendor. Um, so yeah, but I thought I'd you know finally build this deck. There was one reason why I just couldn't finish it for the longest time, and that's because of a card being kind of expensive. But then I realized, oh, hey, I own Korean versions, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I just plan on playing with those. But as you can see here, it's the Evil Hero Gaia deck, as the description said. So we'll get into the deck list. Um, we play one main deck, Evil Hero Monster. This just like lets your uh, Gaia be able to attack twice. Uh, there's only two normal summons, or three normal summons in the deck entirely. So like, this deck's kind of turbo. So if you get this card as like one of your... Normal summons, it's good, because it just makes him when you kill you or kill the opponent a little better. Um, he's a fiend, so that kind of matters towards like the idea of the deck. Uh, one Stratos. Um, I mean, he can search this card or uh, this card. And this just being an eight star, uh, it's just really nice. So like being able to have a normal summon that just does that for you is nice. Um, or if you have him on the board, you can just like summon Stratos after, like pop other back row. Um, so like, yep. So a very small hero engine for an evil hero deck. Crazy. Um, next is just like our fiends. So we have a three dark necro fear, one masked beast guy. I don't like, I don't know what his effect does. It doesn't matter because you don't use it for its effect. Uh, three lava golem. Like two of these could be him because he's bigger attack. But uh, these actually be like, like kind of useful in the format. It's kind of just insane. So like, whatever. Um, all of these being eight star matter as well because of trade in. Um, and then you have three Valkyria, the Magna Warriors, being an eight stars. All that matters. Like you're you're not summoning this card. It doesn't matter. Then the card that took forever to get this deck done was three Gaia plates. Um, this is randomly like a ten dollar card right now for ultras, so I completely forgot I had the Koreans, which made making this deck a lot easier. <laughs> um, but you can actually summon this card by banishing two rock monsters. Um, so like you can summon this, and like I said earlier, you can summon the Dark Necrofear, but the fact that these are just eight stars is just all you need. Um, we have some Dark World monsters, just four. Um, these being able to just like turbo more draw power, uh, and these are just kind of extra push cards, just, just kind of whatever. Uh, our extra, our other normal summon is in fact Morphing Jar. Uh, in case this deck like semi bricks, so like you can semi draw into a point where you're like, all right, set Jar, go, flip, and then you can just like go off the next turn and kill your opponent. That's all you really need is like one turn. Uh, plus this is being a rock is just what the deck needs. Uh, and then our only two protection cards are Gores and Trag. Um, this deck is pretty turbo, so like, you don't always need these cards in the deck, but like when I was testing the deck, there were times where I just like bricked, and like the other cards that these were just like didn't do anything. So yeah, uh, that's all our monsters, it's like 23. Spells, there's our three back row hate cards. Um, and we have Future Fusion and Foolish. You're just trying to get like the extra fiends or rocks in the grave quickly. Um, you have Card Destruction for all of our draw power. Allure and uh, three trade in and three Dark World dealings. So a lot of draw power to basically draw you into the next five cards, which is your win condition. Um, Next is uh, two Dark Fusions. This can use your field and hands uh, to make the obvious one and only Dark Gaia. Uh, and then they can't target it that turn, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and then you have three Dark Callings, <clears throat> which is basically like Miracle Fusion for this card. So there's like way many times where you can like Dark Calling, or Dark Fusion for the first one, Dark Calling for the second one, and then just dead. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is the main deck. It has 41 cards. Uh, the extra deck is 
three copies of this card. That's all that matters. And uh, as many copies of this card as you want just because of the side deck. Other than that, I mean, the deck's cool because you just push. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, what this card does is it gains the attack equal to the monsters that made him the original attack. So, like, you couldn't use a Dark Gaia for a Dark Gaia. Um, so, what it does is uh, yeah, it gains the attack. So, like, the biggest you can get is um, 6,700 with these two. Um, oh, 6,800. 6,800. So that's as big as he can get in here, which is it's fine because all you need to like kill your opponent really is just one to two of these. Um, and then when he declares an attack, it flips all monsters your opponent controls um, to attack position, including face down monsters and a flip effect monsters are not activated at this time. So during this Edison format, obviously like a lot of flip effect decks are just really strong. So, like, being able to, like, force a Raikou to attack mode and just being like, oh, well, I'm taking a crap ton of damage. It's pretty powerful. Um, so, like, this plus, like, whatever is just... Plus not flipping and triggering flip effects is just crazy. So, like, yeah. So, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah. I've just been working my butt off on stuff. So, hope you guys like it and enjoy. Later, guys.